What? Those bastards! <laughs> yeah. Ranting at camera uh, cars featuring Pete Turnbull, PT. Yeah. Owner, owner of, what is it, Turnbull? Turnbull Training, fitness, mindset, and physical health. Yeah. So we've just come for lunch. We're going to go to the Hastings Arms for lunch. Um, some grubbing. Yeah, have some food, but we had a little chat on the way down. Um, and I said, fucking stop that. Let's record this because. It's important. It was an interesting point, wasn't it? Well, it was an interesting point. Yeah. So, so recently, um, talking of the general theme of how there's been a flow of wealth going from uh, the little people and the medium people, so working class and middle class, during the corona pandemic, pandemic thing, uh, all that money, well not all of it, but a large portion of that money has gone to the people who already have a lot of money, shunk, straight up. So, you know, not trickle down theory, but more like, you know, being sucked up theory. Um, that's how they can fund all these gigantic pro projects like going to the, going to Mars, going to the moon, uh, covering the world in satellites and God knows what else, right? That's just the stuff we know about, right? Um, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it could be anything. <laughs> just, the know, interesting this point, is the start. The, the interesting point is the way that the government are presenting the, how the economy has changed to you. Because what they're doing is they're saying, well, you ain't got to worry about it because the, the pandemic didn't have half the effect we thought it was going to on the economy. Look how much money has been spent. But the problem with it is, is that money's been spent with Amazon and huge corporations who already, already have a lot of money. And it's been taken away from small businesses, from pubs, from restaurants, from clubs, from bakeries, from small independent business, which fucking form the foundation of this, of the culture of this country, yeah, which you, we're losing. If you want evidence of that, you just got to look at how their stocks and shares and, and all their prices and, and their actual total value has gone up. You know, it's got a quadruple, trip, you know, in value. And, you know, um, and or if you ask want... yourself this, how much money have you got in the bank now? Has that, yeah. has that quadrupled in value? Well, if you want if more the... evidence, walk down the high street and talk to the traders about it. Because, yeah, they were they're, they're well chuffed with their 50 grand grant that they got. So one example of that is, is what I've done recently with the um, uh, the draft beer tax uh, exemption or reduction, which was just recently passed. And I just I saw this on like a Twitter feed somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's, it's totally legit. And what they've done is, it looks all good on the outside. We've got this um, this like tax tax break for um, people who make beers, right? Like Three drop. pence on a pint. However, it only applies to people who use 40 litres, I think it is, or 40 gallon kegs, so like the really big kegs. And that's not small breweries, and it's not um, what they call microbreweries and, uh, you know, independent breweries. It's the like really, it's places the really, like the Imperial? Basically, they yeah. They brew their own beer there and that. They, yeah, wouldn't, they wouldn't have 40 gallon. Yeah, they so wouldn't, it doesn't apply to them. It doesn't them. apply to them. It only applies to the really, really big brands who do the massive, uh, you know, the massive things, uh, you know. So they get a massive tax break, but it doesn't, and they obviously make a lot of money already, they get a tax break, you know, and but the people who, like the small and the medium businesses, don't get that. So that's just not, one example, literally the other day that happened, because we're going to a pub now, so, you know. Again, the way they presented you though is, we're giving you a free beer pint, aren't we, Jemvis? Yeah. And what about it? Actually, the Hastings are. How about you just stop fucking taxing pubs? Yeah. One point one point two billion a year and they is need, earned they need, on rev revenue. They need the help, man. From um, duty of alcohol sales. That's not all pubs. That's one point two billion a year. Like we can afford to get up to to, to cut, cut taxes for pubs to keep the institution of the British pub going. Like the institution of the of the church is kept going. They can make money without tax. But how many people want to go to fucking church? I don't. Do you want to go to church? 